Desert tortoises spend 90% of their time in underground burrows, which can be shallow or as long as 30 feet. There they hibernate in winter and stay cool in summer, when the burrow temperature may be 40 degrees cooler than the searing heat above. Desert tortoises can live to be over 50 years old. We're tapping him out with the hopes that uh, when he hears noise, he's gonna come charging out of the burrow, right on cue. You ready? While deaths from upper respiratory tract disease triggered the endangered species listing, additional threats are multiplying. Ravens have become an increasingly deadly predator of young tortoises. The easiest place to find raven nests is underneath power towers. Yeah, they're back for a visit. Sticks blown off the nest. Oh. Here's a tortoise that's been eaten by a raven. It's a characteristic that they'll peck a hole in the top uh, to kill it. In northern forests such as Maine, ravens are still a wilderness bird. In the Mojave Desert, which has had uh, urban sprawl and, and uh, so many human modifications, uh, ravens are, have increased <clears throat> up to a thousand percent in the last 50 years. And the availability of food uh, has just caused this huge population increase. They're social birds and they congregate around landfills, around sewage ponds, around fast food restaurants, cattle yards, horse properties, anywhere where there's easy food. But the ones that have learned to uh, uh, eat juvenile tortoises, they can decimate a generation of tortoises right around the nest. So those ravens are targeted. And if they find evidence of uh, tortoise predation under a raven nest, then the Bureau of Land Management calls the Wildlife Services Department of the USDA and, and they come out and kill the raven. The power company comes out and knocks down the nest. They're just so adaptable. And then they teach the young uh, that tortoise is uh, good eating. So the next generation becomes a tortoise predator too.